obviously this season we're saying goodbye to Graham and Courtney's characters. I'm wondering, as putting those episodes together, what was, what was that like, especially given that Brandon not only is there from the beginning of the show, but predates the show mm -hmm. in this universe. And then for you, like, these are actors you've worked with, and now they're just suddenly out of all of What was that going to be? I mean, obviously it's heartbreaking because you become so close. You know, we're, both, we're all in Vancouver together, so, you know, you create your own family dynamic. So you really, you know, love each other, and you have a certain dynamic that's sort of balanced out across the show with different characters. But we've said goodbye to so many wonderful people. So that is also part of the show, is this evolution of bringing in new people, letting go old people, and just seeing how that shifts the whole dynamic of the group. Yeah, for us, I mean, it is Legends of Tomorrow. It's not a singular character name. And the whole idea behind this show is that people come, people go, and they leave when it's their time to leave, when it feels right, when it seems like that story has come to a, a satisfying close don't tend or really like to ever just kill people and have them go have that jarring you know rip away from the characters because you know that's just not how the sort of stories we like to tell we like to tell what are more realistic stories which is that people come together for a time when they need each other and then when they don't need each other anymore they kind of grow apart and that is definitely the story we're, we're trying to tell with with um, with Ray and Nora and we think it's a, the way that we build up to their departure. I think it's very loving. It's, it comes from our love of these characters and it comes from us wanting that story to come to the most satisfying close that we can, both for us as writers, for the actors, and for, we hope, the audience. Because, you know, we don't ever want people to stay, you know, just, just be on the ship just to be on the ship. That's not what the show is. It is about people coming together and, going on their merry way when it's their time. And that's very much what we've tried to do with, this, with those two. Katie was talking about how Ray is like the good one. He's the beacon of like positivity. As uh, with the departures, are you finding like other characters to fill that void? Are you bringing in anybody new? Yeah, I mean, we definitely think, I, I feel like we always try to keep a balance of personalities on the ship. So we do have you know, the, when we have a group scene, we know sort of who's going to have the snarky comment, who's going to be the driver, who's going to try and get people on task, who's going to, you know, say the joke, and who's going to, you know, try to put the positives. You know, we always have that, and, you know, we, we have a lot of people on the ship, and we certainly, as, as you'll come to see in this season, have people who who fill that, that space and who, who fill that need. Sure. Yeah, definitely. And it makes yeah. everyone else, you know, I, the characters have to step up. Mm -hmm. Every time someone leaves, you know, we have to step up. We have to find a way forward. Um, and it's also fun, you know, we get to see Ava having to do that a bit mm -hmm. as well. You know, like, yeah. you know, everyone has to just fill these holes as the problems that we face get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Um, and I think everyone does a really good job of that in a funny, playful way. Yeah. <laughs>